Well, the new Trunnion front mole pan linkage brackets have been installed. And from what I can see, the mole pan is pretty well level on both sides. Main thing is also check to make sure that these brackets, this one and this one, are not bent because if they're bent, they can cause issues. They are removable. This is for Craftsman GT tractors with this style hood or the square front end. Model number beginning with 917, but I had to replace the <sighs> linkage trunnions on this mold because, like I said, the mold pan was a little unlevel. There's other leveling areas on this mold pan that you got to check also. But there's one there, and the other one, I don't know where I was holding on the other side of the toolbox. But I would have filmed this, but this is a tedious process. Just make sure that you put everything back in place and uh you know use if you have to use the original hairpins because the new hairpins that came with this well they're a little bit thicker than they need to be because otherwise you'd have to drill out the hole in both this piece right here and the other end going down to hold the actual mold pan up. You'd have to drill them out a little bit bigger. And also make sure that the brackets, these pieces right here, are nice and secure to the mold pan because if they start breaking away, that can cause droppage. And then you gotta get welded. Or do it yourself. But like I said, the new Trunnion front linkages for this mold have been installed. Now this nut is locking nut. This is the one that you bring in or out. The nut behind it is the jam nut that keeps this piece in. Every mower is going to have a different way to support the, the front of the mower pan. That's your height adjustment for the front because the blades are getting to the grass. Grass is coming up under the pan from the front but like I said I've got it done it's just I had to take the old ones and break the rust and stuff off of them and clean them up real good and use them put them back for another project but also like I said make sure that these brackets are not bent because if they're bent they cause issues or removal but like I said they are removable you got this bolt, this bolt, this bolt, and that bolt to hold the bumper on it. If you don't have a bumper, you ain't got to worry about it. But if you do have these bolts here and this one here and this one here, you got to take that off. And there might be a bolt, yeah, a bolt up top. But that's how you do it. So y'all have a good day and see y'all later. Thank you. Have a nice day.